Now our last hope is a balloon shaped like my nutsack. You wish your nutsack was as red as this. There will be no further compromise! Go away! <laughs> Welcome to a very special edition of... Cobblers. Metal Brexit Radio! <laughs> It's rubbish. That's right, yes, it is a very special edition of the show this week. We've gone political. Oh, shit. What we're going to do is a show all about Brexit and the travesty of the British government. Yeah. <laughs> what a circus. Yeah, absolute circus. It's a complete failure on all sides on how not to leave the EU, even though you voted to leave the EU, and not being able to do it. Yeah. Because you can't make a fucking decision between you. Hmm. Should um, I stay or should, should I, I go? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's terrible. It's dreadful. And it's just shown the English government as being the laughing stock of the world. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the developing countries that are, the, the, the are sitting there saying, you mean, seriously, guys? Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> And uh, the, the Prime Minister, Theresa May, or may, may not, not. <laughs> uh, she just doesn't know. Right. Uh, she's talking about getting the whole thing going through Parliament again a fourth or fifth time. Um, yeah, all right, that's really going to work for you. Yeah. Uh, I don't like her at all. <laughs> <laughs> I really do not like her. I don't like the, the Tories particularly, but I'm not that fond of Labour, to be quite honest. I am apolitical. In the whole thing. Uh, I, I honestly am completely apolitical. I am not pro-Brexit. I'm against it only because of how it would affect me yeah. and living in Denmark. That's the only reason. Other than that, I don't give a shit, really. The, if, yeah, that, if that's if that's, we, that's my, why Kent and I are very pro-Brexit, because we don't want you here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very nice. <laughs> Would you like me to bring up Carsten again on the show? No, 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 no. <laughs> ah, Too late. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So on this week's show, it, it, it's sort of it, it basically we're just taking the piss like we always do. Yep. Um, and this time it's aimed at the British government because they they really need a good spanking. Um, Ooh. Okay, not like that. <laughs> okay. And what we're going back to the older way of doing it with less chat. More music, okay? Just because there's a lot to get through. Okay, good. So yeah. we should get on with it. Uh, up first is the band Venom. And I believe there's some more Venom coming later as well. But this is Venom right now. From their Black Metal Deluxe Expanded Edition. Ooh. I have no fucking idea <laughs> what that is. <laughs> but it sounds amazing. Excellent! It's 3 minutes and 37. And uh, to be... Um, this is one for, for the, the, the pro stay in Europe it's a uh, leave me in hell okay okay <laughs> <laughs> I good thought one. we'd kick off on a very negative note <laughs> yes good one <laughs> but here's Venom It's <laughs> a long time since I listened to that one. Yeah. Danger, German flag. 
<laughs> Don't mention the war. Well, it was their next album. Venom's next album was... Um, war of the Season. No, no. <laughs> At War with Merkel. With Merkel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's the same I said. War of the Season, Merkel, isn't that the same? I get nothing. Okay. Got nothing there, Got mate. Nothing. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Only Theresa May could make a decision that easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sort of helps if you make decisions without a vote. So, you, you like this? No. You like this? No. How about this? No. Okay. That was Kronos just finding out that you'd murdered my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wasn't going to bring it up in the show, but I did. But just once. <laughs> by the time the show goes out, I'll have a new one. You me. <laughs> um, perhaps If not. you let me have one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if the shop is open tomorrow. Also, from over here... Bob's Alice Cooper shirt is folded so much it looks like Alice Cooper he looks like Kermit the Frog <laughs> oh that's better yeah. alrighty that was Venom and Leave Me in Hell from the Black Metal Deluxe Expanded Edition <laughs> honestly still have no idea what the fuck that means because how can Black Metal be Deluxe and Expanded yeah. still sounds exactly as bad as it did back yes, in the day yes, yeah. Yeah. probably now got then. a couple of more tracks on it that's about it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, now then, uh, there was a, a couple of moments during that. I, I was looking at you guys with a worried face. Do you, do you see that? Yeah. Well, it's because of the next song. It's another one of mine. I didn't realize there were two of mine in a row. Apologies there. No. no, no. It's the band Chastain. Apologies. Yeah. Uh, yes, Apologies. Uh, the release is For Those Who Dare. Uh, the song is called Please Set Us Free. Obviously, this is the yeah, yeah. Brexit <laughs> thing. But the reason I was looking at you with a worried face is because I've just now noticed... But it is six minutes and five seconds long. Oh, how know, very dare how, you. How dare you, sir? I know, I, I know my, my ass is puckering oh. just at the thought. <laughs> so, but, 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 there are exterminate buttons. I have noticed right now there are exterminate buttons that I've put in for this one. Okay. So, um, just because it's Brexit and a bit of fun. We can still... And well, we're taking the piss and giving the finger... To uh, Theresa May, although I'm sure she'd enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> we can still blow shit up. Good. Yes, we still know how to do that in yeah. Denmark. Yes. 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 Uh, and also, we know how to set fire to things because there's a massive, there's a massive fire, fire, fire going on just down the road. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, so, uh, but don't worry, folks. We're okay. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> I oh, can't see me glass in front of me face. Anyway, here's Chastain, and please, please set us free. <laughs> Bloody pansy. Sorry, that was too dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was uh, just having a just, laugh. Just yeah. a smidgen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was one of my songs. But well, maybe you've chosen it as well. Chastain? Yeah. No, I chose... It's on my I list. Cho- it's on my list. Oh, really? Who gives a shit? But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe, maybe. Huh. Ma- That's maybe my beer. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is this the Chastain's? Oh, right. Is three? Right. Well, maybe mine's Chariot then. Could be. Ah. But it doesn't matter, it's uh, it's metal and it's long, I know, but... Uh, hey. Bob, I apologise. There's no worries. I, I am so sorry. No. Don't I, have I, to, I, I, I apologise to, to Carsten as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I am so. We need to get on with this. Shall yeah, we get yeah, on with it? Yeah, yeah, get on. Yeah, yeah, All right. Here's yeah. Chastain. Whoever put it on. Didn't someone mention drinks? Yes. Oh, God. How long is this going to go on? About as long as the Brexit talks, I'm sure. More than likely. That bloke sounds like a woman. That is a woman. That's a little Leone. That's her name. Okay. Stay's name, of course. But, uh... Real name's Mabel Smith. Probably. know which member of the band mixed this album it's whichever one is a plumber This is going to be the theme tune at the next Tory party conference. Yeah. Please set us free. <laughs> Please set us free. <laughs> Did you see where uh, Theresa May, or may not, walked out on stage to Dancing Queen and she started dancing? <laughs> I have never felt so, so embarrassed. <laughs> so, so, so nauseous in my life. But it was made better by ABBA actually writing to her and saying, stop using our fucking music. (laughs) Cease and desist. It's funny because uh, I've, I've noticed that conservatives, Republicans and so on they always talk about, you know, private property, uh, sort of, uh, you know, letting people earn their living. But uh, as uh, as soon as it comes to using music for political campaigns and so on, they are like the worst assholes. Uh, that yeah. just uh, yeah. They'll yeah. steal and rip you off as much as they can. Yeah, yeah but I mean, uh, at least they should, you know, practice what they preach because yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I mean, that's fair. You know, mm. if you use a use a song. Uh, or at least ask for permission. Ask for permission and the artist gets paid. Yeah. 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 Look at us getting all political. <laughs> this is <it> right. <laughs> One time only, folks. One time only. Yeah, yeah. Please end this song. <laughs> I have got to go for a piss. Denied. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Reach into your heart, save the day. Maybe soon good things will come your way. Just remember, it's up to you and I. Speak your mind and change things what you may. Oh, yeah.
the problem with the world nowadays. Just we are just too many people. That's it. What we need is Thanos. Yeah. That's what but, we need. But but he, what he uh, what he did wrong. I mean, he said he would do away with half the population, and that, that would. Half of everything, so all all the uh, ecosystems would die yeah, eventually. Yeah. So. Do you know if you remove half the population? Do you know where that would get us in population-wise? The seventies. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's all right. We get the Sweeney back. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm there. Sweeney's professionals. Oh yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. John Pertwee as Doctor Who. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. Oh. <laughs> Now we're talking. <laughs> I'm going to have to go for a wank when I go for a piss now. <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah. That would be, yeah. Thanos, we need you. Yeah. Thanos, come on, get it done. All right, that'd yeah. be ace. Yeah. But, uh, like no, in the 70s, like in 1973 here in Copenhagen, or in Denmark, we had uh, carless Sundays. No cars in the streets. Okay. Because of all the crisis and all that. Beautiful. I loved it. All right. You can walk around. There's no noise. There's no cars. Only like a certain amount of cars could have a special, special per, per, permit to do it because okay, like, yeah, yeah. ambulances and stuff like that you know, yes, of course of yeah. course yeah. and some maintenance guys who have to do a job on a Sunday but otherwise no bloody cars it was awesome Starsky and Hutch <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Starsky, Kojak oh yeah oh yeah, 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 yeah. McLeod McCl- and yeah. um Colombo. Uh, what, uh, what is Colombo as well? And what's the other one? Um, oh, the Rockford Files. This is Jim Rockford at the tone leaving yeah, yeah, a message yeah. on James Garner. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And Brilliant. also, like, some typical British, Lord Peter Wimsey. Remember him? Oh, oh. yes. Like a gentleman sleuth or whatever. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 love uh, that. I love those. I don't, he's probably a Tory. More than likely, but yeah. it's good show. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <let's see. laughs> yeah. All right. And we're forgetting Charlie's Angels. Oh, oh we, well, we, we're not. No, because no, they're right, running at the Danish perverts. television at the moment. <laughs> so we're, we're not forgetting. No, they're, they're running on Danish television at the moment, so hey, no worries. Oh, nice. Oh, great. I don't get Danish television because I don't like television. Oh, yeah. Per se, hey. so. yeah. The television I watch is on this thing here that we're working on now. You can probably find Shadow's Angels there as well. <laughs> I, I, I do have some porn on here. That's <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All righty, let's move on. <laughs> Up next is the band from Canada. It's um, uh, Canada, uh, America's Hat. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, it's uh, Woiwad. Oh, nice. From their album. Rawr. 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 Who put this on? I think it was uh, you. Uh, I did. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it's the song Fuck Off and Die. Oh, yes. That's a good one. <laughs> Which is a good one for Brexit. Because uh, England, would you just fuck off and die? Or at least just fuck off, you know? Anyway, it's 3 minutes and 37, and I've got to go for a while, so here's Voivod. You've got to be taking the piss! It's not like when I'm just on speed. Yeah, <laughs> it's so bad. I'm quite amazed that they keep managing to get to the end of the song on this album and on every different song all together at the same time. Because <laughs> <laughs> every song sounds like they're falling down the fucking stairs. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, didn't Donovan say something about basketballs falling down the drain or things like that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and in parallel, we can say about Brexit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they need to finish by the new deadline. Which is the 31st of Halloween. Thanks for ruining Halloween for me <laughs> this year. <laughs> Theresa May or may not. Probably fucking won't. As an outside, I can only see it's only because only because violent this all happens. Yeah. Just because that fucking border between Northern Ireland and Ireland, you know, like... It's all to do with money and who can screw who. Oh, exactly. Absolutely. It is to do with money. Yeah. I hate politics. What are you doing this show for then? I hate politicians. Oh, that's why. I like music. I like music. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. See, amazing. It was a complete mess from start to finish, but they all stopped at the same time. <laughs> How did you do that? Somebody stood behind him with a baseball bat, like, stop! Or did they just stand there with all the, the electrical wires and yeah, just, just like unplugged it all at once? <laughs> and someone with the baseball bat hit the drummer on the head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Quick. I think that might be it. All right, it was Voivod and Fuck Off and Die from Roar. And uh, yeah, so since we've got a lot to get through, up next is Paradise Lost, the song Walk Away. Oh, that's mine. Okay. Two. Uh, All righty. So, uh, yep, that's another good one for for Brexit. Walk Away. Pity they can't in any fucking decent amount of time. But still, it's from the release The Last Time. I hope this will be (laughs) the last time. (laughs) I doubt it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We're taking another the world, didn't that? <laughs> <laughs> but it's three minutes and twenty-five. That's good. That's good. That's a nice one. Yeah. So here is Paradise Lost, which is what's going to happen in England. Oh yeah. yeah. Paradise will be lost as long as they don't close the pubs and they don't, you know, still sell the real ale. Then I'm cool. Oh, they'll be selling that. that. That'll be the only drug available to the populace yeah, because the fine. rest of the country is going to be in such turmoil. That's fine. I'll still come. Go to England, drink beer in the local pubs. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Local me. pubs, pie and mash. That'll be it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I- I'm up for that as well. Bye. Okay. That is the most synthetic drum, snare drum sound I've heard. That's just a lot of gate on it, that's it, you know. That, that's like this, this song compared to the other songs we played. Yeah. This is the most produced oh, sound wise album. Yeah, really. Yeah. Like, and then, and then they kind of kills a little bit of the. Uh, Spontaneity of the music, you know, it's it's too too nice. Sounds like they want to be. What's that band that we were talking about? The Alarm? No, Big Country. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they 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 must be the Black Country or something. Like that. <laughs> oh no, they're, they're north of England. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't you dare tar and feather us with these fucking northern monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Now, these were Yorkshire. Ah. Well, you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the shuffle there. 
Yeah, there'll be no more of that after Brexit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we're going to live in a shoe. <laughs> The lyrics to this song are fucking abysmal. Yeah, but it, it make like it makes, makes sense, sense with uh, the whole Brexit uh, thing. Uh, but the song <laughs> itself, yeah. But it was on uh, I think it was on a, a, a four ish uh, four song EP or something like that. Okay, that's uh, probably a reason for that. Okay, <laughs> it's dreadful. But it's over. Thank goodness for that. All righty. It was Paradise Lost and uh, Walk Away from a release called The Last Time. And honestly, that is the, <laughs> the last, last time, time. <laughs> I'm playing that on this show. Good grief. That was terrible. Like, walk away, walk away. Do, do I will stay? follow. <laughs> I'll follow, yeah. We'll, we'll get there in the end. I think they did. They, 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 no, they can't They're remember. They're taking the piss. That's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you remember if they did a cover of that? Uh, no, that's not Walk Away. What is that? Small Town Boy or something like that. They, d- they small, did some... Small some Town Girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. That's Journey. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, they did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they didn't cover that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good cover that a band should do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Note right. to self. No, not not to, to self. a sinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, up next is a band called... F- oh, this is one of mine, Fear. Uh, and the song is from The Record. It's 2 minutes and 39, very short. The song is called We Got to Get Out of This Place. Oh. Cover song or...? Uh, no, no, no it's, it's one of their own. Ah, and okay, because this... Uh, yeah. We, 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 we have to get out of this place. Uh, let's just get this fucking Brexit over with, yeah. one way or another. Um, but... You guys know Fear. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was introduced to them many years ago and sort of put them on standby. And then Donovan, when we were on mm, the show, yeah. when he was doing the show, um, he brought it back to my uh, the, the forefront of my ears, I would say. And um, yeah, and they got some new stuff coming out right now, actually. So uh, check them out if you can, folks. But here is We Got to Get Out of This Place. It is uh, that one. That is the um, yeah, MC is. Fa- yeah. yeah. But to be honest, this is awful. <laughs> you can shush and get out. <laughs> Isn't the either or? I, mean, I can shush and get out and nothing else? And that's yes, it? just okay. don't say anything else and go. Okay. I better get me code then. And put the alarm on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, the alarm would be fitting now. I mean, <laughs> going out in a place of glory. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's the good thing about the pit tempo they're playing this song in. It's gonna be finished soon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking the the guitar part sounds a bit like uh, Robert Fripp did this League of Gentlemen thing where they okay uh, did yeah <laughs> things like that. save time okay this okay. is kiss and uh, get away which is a, a good good <laughs> one, <laughs> one of mine yeah. from uh, dress to kill yeah Peter Chris singing, isn't it? Sounds like it, yeah. Because that, mm. that's not Gene Simmons not or Stanley. No, no, no. no, no. And it can't be Ace Freely because he's, he's sober. <laughs> <laughs> So I have flick through my CD collection and I'm like, ah, Kiss. And I'm like, and see if we can find something. I'm like, okay, this will do. <laughs> yeah. That's an oldie as well, so. Yeah, good it's good. good one. Nice choice, mate. Yeah. I gotta say. I think as well with the, the next songs, I'll uh, join them together just to simply save time. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Because yeah. we're pushing it with the time, so. Ah, push it. like Brexit they're pushing it with a fucking time oh yeah <laughs> push it real good <laughs> uh, I saw Bimmer mate you're way out there mate <laughs> oh, oh I shouldn't say that that means I know it ooh oh. <laughs> 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 make a faux pas <laughs> uh, yeah 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 <laughs> Sonny Bono is frowning upon you <laughs> yeah <laughs> And if people don't get the Sonny Bono joke, let me just take a photo and... Oh, I can't, because somebody killed my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's twice I mentioned it. I, I, I won't do it again. Uh, but I'll take a photo, so at least you've got something to show for it. Thanks, <laughs> mate. That means somebody <laughs> killed your phone. It's just, somebody in this It's room. not like somebody just walked in from the street and killed your phone. I killed that phone. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed you did, mate. Indeed you did. All righty, that was uh, Fear and Kiss together, uh, just to save time. Fear and Kiss. <laughs> yeah, well, we already introduced the Fear one, but the Kiss was the song Getaway. And yeah, but that. I mean, that sounds like a, a sort of a, a government coalition. Uh. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> it, it could be worse. <laughs> You've got, like, what is it, the Tories and the... DM, well, DMZ. Yeah. Well, the DMV. Yeah. yeah. But they all <laughs> four little words, so hey. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the ARSE or whatever they're called, <laughs> they're all in it together. Anyway, uh, we've got the band. It's uh, another choice of mine. Sorry, um, wasted right now. With the, 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 the Pete waste, Way, Pete Way's Pete band. Way yeah. wasted. Yeah. And I was watching this video. By the way, just a, a quick aside here. This video about um, uh, it, it's the vinyl reacquisition project by Matt G. Paradise. You can get it on YouTube, folks. Go and watch it. It's fucking brilliant, these videos are. He spoke about the band Fast Way, yeah. which is uh, Fast Eddie Clark yep. and Pete mm-hmm. Way. But ah. did you know that through contractual obligations, Pete Way did not play a fucking note on any of their albums? I know. Yeah. But I, I didn't know, know why, but... Uh, uh, no, I, I did not know that. Uh, well, know. But, uh, th- <laughs> well, thanks to Matt G. Paradise for that one. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, that's something I really didn't know. I thought he did. But anyway, this is Wasted, and he did play a note on oh, this. Yeah. And it's the song, You Won't Get Out Alive. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. The, it's the apocalypse in England after <laughs> Brexit. All right, so you've got till Halloween. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, you can always stock up on uh, Easter eggs and stuff, all the important things. All righty. Like uh, Marmite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and after that will be something else, but you'll know who that is because they're, they're a classic band. So here is Wasted, and we are <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> How's it hanging? Get out! Gotcha. When all the um, foreign chefs and cooks leave England, all they're going to have is beans on toast. Yeah, or bangers and mash. And well, that's yeah, not so bad. No, uh, and, and, and maybe, okay. They'll still have Gordon Ramsay because he's Scottish, so he, he has to stay in. Right. Okay, but... Marco uh, Pierre White uh, has to leave, or yeah. Also, uh, oh goodness, what's the name? Delia Smith. <laughs> no, not Jella. Oh, not Jella. Not Jella. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, she can move here. Yeah. 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 You also have a uh, uh, Ainsley. He's gonna be there as well. Oh, he can fucking stay. <laughs> <laughs> Annoying wanker that Ainsley is. <laughs> You're not a fan. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. I'm a bit psychic. I can feel these things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I met one of the, the great British chefs at one time in England, Keith Floyd. I actually met him. Did he remember? No, no he was because <laughs> he, he was always pissed. He was pissed. He, he was at his pub in uh, in Dartmoor. He could pop call Floyd's in, and then dot dot dot. Sometimes, yeah, great name for right. a pub, you know, and. There's, there's some some guys from uh, Bangkok hotels and they come in and do some Thai food and like me and my mate stopped there to have some food and we're sitting there suddenly from upstairs down came Keith Floyd looking like shit <laughs> 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 but he came down and we had a chat with him and he was uh, quite friendly you know but he had a like a very bad hangover apparently <laughs> but but good fun. And if you don't know this, you deserve to leave the EU. Then you have to die. <laughs> yeah. I actually had to buy a, a, a box set to get it, but I couldn't. I, I didn't have it on a CD. All uh, oh, uh, right. So, but uh, I've, I went into iTunes and they had and oh, this uh, this I think it's five uh, the Sire years. So. Okay. Yes, this is the Sire years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an uh, uh, extra bonus. It's from the album Leaving Home. Okay. So. Now I know the score. Which I thought was uh, sort of uh, appropriate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. See, like you said, I don't need you anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The EU doesn't go away, England. Yeah. I need somebody good. I the, the thing is, uh, I haven't listened to uh, them for a long time. Normally, you know, when I commute to work, I can uh, sort of listen to a podcast or uh, uh, one album. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if, if it's Ramones, I can do both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's one of those bands who never got me. Like, I think they're pretty boring, but they kind of 
Can't please everybody. I might have to edit that out. <laughs> you can edit whatever you People like. want to kill him for saying that. Uh, I'm always going against, against the majority. I mean, everybody like, Ramones, Ramones, like, fuck it, that's shite. No, still not with you, old chap. Well, just wait for that new punk band that's coming out in a few uh, months. They're called the Dead Trumps. Okay. <laughs> With the, that guy, uh, Gummy Bear Biafra. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> so it was the Ramones, of course, the song Glad to See You Go, and it's from their The Sire Years. I was glad to see him go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, again, we'll put two on together because they're the last two. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, and um, mm. uh, w- once the, the, the second one's over, we'll still chat a bit. Uh, and then we'll uh, run into the uh, the, the, the uh, commercial break, yep. and then the second half. But uh, up first is a uh, choice of Bob's, I do believe, Alice Cooper. Oh yeah, oh, nice. so only because of like the name of the song and what they sing about. Yes, so, like... it's uh, for Britain only. Oh, is the song title <laughs> from for Britain only. Yeah, it's a right? single uh, yeah. only released in Britain, apparently. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, hence the name for Britain only. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I, guess, I see what I they did. Get it there. now. I see what he was doing there. <laughs> yeah, with that snake, dirty bastard. Um, but it's three minutes and two seconds. So let's get this on and um, get out of the EU. Yes. I mean, uh, <laughs> get out of the first half of the show. Uh, but there's also another band coming, which. It, and also, people. If, if you're a metal fan, you'll know who this band is. And if you don't, you have to turn in your metal card, your passport, and leave the EU immediately. Okay? Because if you don't know who that band is, then you oh, you, you deserve a really good slap. <laughs> anyway, here, coming up first, Alice Cooper. Also, uh, sometimes known as Callis Ooper. I have no idea why. I understand every word in that sentence, but I've no idea what it means. Yeah, and that means you're a prat. How old is this one? Oh, I can't remember. Just after, I think it's just around the uh, flush of fashion period or, or something like that. It was after he went solo. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Went solo? Yeah. In the old days, it was a band. Alice Cooper was a... Band. But he he's was, Alice Cooper. Yeah, yeah, but he, there was also a band. Okay. And then he made um, Bust of Love. That was the last record that is as a band. And then he went his own way and the other guys went their own way. So they went their own way under the name of the they band formerly known as Alice Cooper? No, they went as a Billion Dollars Babies. Okay. Hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. They made one album uh, called Battle Axe. Great album. Behave yourself, cause we're, we're back in Britain. Britain, only, only Britain. six years old, time and space. I have to check that out because I did not know that at all. No Reference to an earlier song. <laughs> I think this is probably the around the fourth solo album he did this. Okay. After the split up of the original band. It's quite apt what you were saying about the band splits. You know, one goes one oh, way, one yeah, goes the exactly, other. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A <laughs> little bit like, well, it's not quite like Brexit because but nothing's <laughs> fucking happening. <laughs> Alice 
Yeah, one of my co-workers suggested we should do things can only get better. <laughs> <laughs> And they will now. Because... Because it's Exodus. Oh, <laughs> you can't go wrong with Exodus. No. So the, e- the Exodus is that a reference to bre- Brexit? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's that, and there's also the the song title, and then there were none. Ah, yeah, one of my choices. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's from the album Bonded by Blood, ah, which yes. obviously England and EU were, yeah, but um, now seem to not be. So it's one big reference all the way through, mate. Uh. <laughs> I also thought about another song with the Exodus, but uh, we had done that on the show before, so a song called Going, Going, Gone. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, we had played that before, so ah. Yeah, and uh, Tybo had gotten in here if they... Didn't make the hail and farewell to Britain nine minutes long. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit on the flung side. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I couldn't pull that on. <laughs> you could have tried. Yeah, no. He would have tried and failed. <laughs> it's it was enough. Like I may, I may not. I mean, I could have done that, but I decided just to kill Dave's phone instead. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like this, this is the kind of metal I grew up with. I remember seeing these in 1985 with yeah. Venom. Yeah, yeah, I saw that as oh, well. Yeah. yeah, that was in uh, Saw Me and Copenhagen. Awesome. Oh, yes, folks. Uh, second longest song on this half of the show. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, it's not. just as long as it takes Theresa May to get them out of <laughs> so <laughs> no it goes no. on and on no, no, and on, no. and on that, <laughs> will, that will be Tales from Topographic Ocean uh, <laughs> oh yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> Way to end it. All right. 
right. That's never five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Exodus, and then there were none from bonded by blood. And we're at the end of the first half of this oh. Brexit. Already? We've had fun this first half, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. that was good. And we're going to have fun on the second half, looking at what's coming up. Because uh, it's your choices. Huh? Yeah, we, we know what's coming up, so we know. Yeah, yeah, terrible. we know it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> So let's get on with it, and yeah. we'll, we'll and by getting on with it, we'll get off with it. We'll catch you on the second half. Toodle pip, and not cheery bye because we're going to see you again. Well, it's not goodbye, no, is no, it? No, no, no. It's, it's m- more like, uh, like we'll see you. Yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. meet again. Okay. Don't know where. <laughs> don't need to start. Where. <laughs> That's a definite Brexit tune. That, <laughs> exactly. is. that really is. Yeah. As the English Isles sails off towards. Well, purgatory. Satan.com. Radio Free Satan.com. Radio Free Satan.com. Radio Free Satan.com. We play the tracks we want to hear. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions Doctor Who, The Dark Universe. Stories. I've told a few in my time, been in a few too. My favourite stories, the ones that fill my life, tend to be adventure stories. They move quickly, packed full of danger, mystery and villains. Monsters. Oh, yes. So many monsters. Oh, a time lord. With multiple personalities. The Eleven. I want every last corner of this universe under my control. Of all of Gallifrey's secret weapons, this one is by far the most lethal. It's been 20 years since I last saw you. 20! Saving the universe is like riding a bike. You'll soon get the hang of it again. Either this universe is mine or it's nobody's. If you do that, you destroy everything. A mind full of voices, all screaming, all arguing, all shouting at the one person they hate more. More than any other. Themselves. Big Finish. We love stories. This is Reverend Jean, the host of Vox Satane, exclusively on Radio Free Satan. Join me every week as we indulge in the classical side of music spanning the past 1,000 years. Vox Satani has already featured over 700 composers covering medieval, baroque, classical, romantic, and contemporary music, including chant, choral, opera, keyboard, and orchestral music, with composers ranging from Gluck to Gilmore, Bach to Bellevance, Talis to Taverner, and Paganini to Pert. Get your weekly recommended dose of classical music right here on Vox Satani, only on Radio Free Satan, with me, Reverend Jean. Hail Satan. Rabbit, 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 Hello, good evening, good afternoon. Um, this is Mark uh, here for Metal Breakfast Radio. And what I'm going to be doing today is giving you my top 20 metal albums of 2019. Um, I'm going to be giving you a, a couple of lines about the top 10 each release. And then 11 to 20 will just be uh, a list of them. Uh, we're giving you the record labels so you can check them out um, it is just my opinion but therefore fact 
so if you don't like it you can ram it but there might be a couple of releases in there that you might want to check out or check them all out if you haven't heard them um but first i just want to say thanks to dave and hope you're well mate um we had a great time when you came over to colchester when you were recording with the benediction boys and we had a good night out in colchester resulted in me getting vomit all over my driveway um, after Dave uh, threw loads of incredibly strong craft ale and bourbon down my neck. It's all your fault. My missus was very unimpressed. Um, however, not as unimpressed as the taxi driver that dropped us off home. And uh, I had my, my phone was recording when he dropped us, uh, and you can hear the conversation now. Are you crazy? You're fucking. You are fucking. You are fucking. You fucking fucking you bloody you bloody fuck you bloody. You bloody. Bastard, bitch! Fuck you, fuck you! Bloody fuck you, bloody! Not a nice guy. Not a nice guy at all. Um, so it's been a turbulent time here. Shortly after Dave uh, left to go back to Denmark, I, I myself was sacked. Um, the company I worked for said they were going to get rid of the uh, employee with the worst posture. Uh, I had a hunch it'd be me. But um, um, so that was that really, and we moved on to bigger and better things. Uh, yes. Yeah, Something Dave said to me was uh, a little bit hurtful when he was over. Um, you know, I've always considered him a close friend. Uh, but he, he pointed out to me, he said, Mark, you're always invading my personal space uh, and making me feel uncomfortable. Now, that really hurt me. And to be honest, completely ruined our bath. Uh, that's enough stupidity. On with the top 20 of 2019. Now, it's been a funny old year. Mostly full of losers, pissing and moaning about shit they two up their own asses to realise they know nothing about. Thankfully, there have been some stellar releases that help keep our heads banging and our fists pumping, just like Dave down one of those dodgy clubs in Copenhagen. The following is my top 20. Please enjoy it. And we're going to start with number one, the best metal release of the year, in my opinion, which is the album Reichenstein by Infidel Reich on Helter Skelter Records. My favourite release, this death metal crew have cut an album that not only totally rocks, but is lyrically a much needed shot of fuck you in the arm of all the whining muppets that live in a world of perpetually manufactured offence. Top job, Vince, Bob and the boys. That is a cracking record, mate. Number two, Warfist came out with the album A Grunberger on Gods of War. Um, this is only just pipped by uh, Infidel Reich, and these poles nail it on their third album. It's dripping with hooks and is ridiculously addictive. Their blend of death, black, thrash metal is an alcoholic joy. Uh, at number three, we have Possessed with Revelations of Oblivion on Nuclear Blast. Uh, well, the big boys are back uh, uh, after 30 odd years, and all the cynics that thought this would just be a cash grab are made to eat their words. This album is more than worthy of the possessed name and is, if anything, better than seven churches. There I said it. I did. Come at me. Number four, God's Forsaken with Smells of Death, brilliant title, on Soul Cellar Records. Um, some former bandmates of Dave's here from uh, um, just before dawn. Uh, these Swedes unleashed the gore-soaked death metal fury on their second album and it immediately shot up the Swedish death metal pecking order uh, with a classy old-school horror fest, which is heavy on rotation in Stalag Eve. Malevolent Creation in at number five with The Thirteenth Beast on Century Media. Following the sad death last year of vocalist Brett Hoffman, many thought this band would call it quits, but these death metal stalwarts do not know the meaning of the word and have bounced back from tragedy, which is... Uh, momentous considering the impact that Brett had on the band um, but this is one of the best albums of their career and I'm sure Mr Hoffman would be justifiably proud number six come back from the dead rise of the blind ones on transcending obscurity records this is creepy nasty atmospheric doomy deathy goodness these Spaniards know exactly what they're doing and have a real unique yet at the same time familiar sound it's a great album check it out number seven overkill the Wings of War on Nuclear Blast, the most consistent and the best thrash metal band in history, unleashed their 19th album. And what can you say? It's overkill. Bobby Blitz's tungsten pipes are still in fine form, and they couldn't write a crap song if you paid them. Green and black for life. Cracking record, cracking band. Number eight, Deserted Fear, Drowned by Humanity on Century Media. Germany's best metal... Uh, start that again. Germany's best kept secret, along with Chapel of Disease, they continue their ascent into the death metal stratosphere with their most accomplished, mature and, dare I say it, progressive mm, album yet. 
If you haven't listened to Deserted Fear, just get all four of their albums and thank me later. They are brilliant. Number nine, Cattle Decapitation with Death Atlas on Metal Blade. Now, regardless of whether you're a yogurt knitting vegan puff activist or not, this is an incredible death metal album and creates some amazing sonic landscapes with its savage barbarity. I always liked the band, uh, but now I like them even more. Absolutely killer. Get hold of it. And number 10, here's one that'll surprise you, Queensryche, The Verdict on Century Media. Now, I've loved Queensryche since Rage for Order, and I saw them a couple of times on the Mind Crime and Empire tours uh, back in the 80s, but I'd sort of drifted away around the time of the Promised Land album. So this was, in all honesty, the first material I'd heard from them in nearly 25 years. And wow, what a cracking record. Todd Latore's vocals are amazing. And he's the guy that used to be in, I think, a Floridian band called Crimson Glory. He used to wear all these weird chrome masks. They were fucking cool as well. Bigger. Um, his vocals are fantastic. And the hooks sink in right from track one. Check this out. You will not be disappointed. Okay, number 11. We have Exhumed with Hostile Defiance on Metal Blade. Number 12, Mourn the Southern Skies by Exorder on Nuclear Blast. Number 13, Born to Perish by Destruction on Nuclear Blast. 14, Black Metal Ultras on Falter Records by Whiskey Ritual. Number 15, we have Bones with Diseased on Transcending Obscurity. Number 16, Grand Magus with Wolf God on Nuclear Blast. 17, we have Colonel Sanders and the boys in Nile with vile nilotic rites on Nuclear Blast. Number 18, and the only black metal release on this album, uh, on this list, is Encircling Wolves with Antisocial Experimentation. Now, they're a, they're a pretty cool British uh, sort of one-man outfit in the UK. Check them out. That's Encircling Wolves. 19, Burial Remains with Trinity of Deception and Transcending Obscurity. And number 20, Coffin Rot. Uh, a Monument to the Dead on Blood Harvest Records. That's my top 20. See what you think. If you uh, if you have any comments, text in, let us know. Leave an answer in the comments below. Um, but yeah, there you go. Have a fantastic Christmas, or whatever it is you heathen pagan scum celebrate. And uh, hopefully we'll have something new for you in the new year. See you later. The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! What are you doing? Oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. This spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal, an opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out! Puffs. Neckers. Because this is a godless show. A cock. You're damn right it is. Welcome back to the second half of Metal Brexit Radio for this week. The you did hear wrong, it is Brexit. It is Brexit. <laughs> it's a basically a piss take of the uh, English government who can't make up their minds at all and have now had to delay it until Halloween. Thanks for fucking ruining Halloween for me. Uh, it could have been worse. Year. It could have been worse. It could have been Christmas. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, it would have been better if it was fucking Christmas. But Halloween, don't fucking ruin Halloween for me. Fucking Theresa May or May not, and her husband James. James May? No. <laughs> did did you right. get anything there? Uh, <laughs> all righty. Now, yeah, like we ben, doing, ben, ben Haircourt guy. Yeah. <laughs> like we were doing on the, uh, towards the end of the first half, we'll do on the second half as well, uh, linking songs together. Yep, yeah. good, good. Yeah. Just because to save time. Yeah, and have uh, fun. And it is fun, it is fun. And then at the very end, if there is time at the end of the episode, uh, I will play a... Um, uh, a bit of a, a requiem for my iPhone. <laughs> um. No, it deserved to be killed. <laughs> All right, that's the last. That was three strikes. So I'm done now. Right? You're out. You're out. <laughs> yeah. All righty, but this first song on, on this side is uh, Thin Lizzy, and it's from their release Renegade. Who was that? I think it was me. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
And it's the song Leave This Town. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good choice. That's the fir- first uh, song I thought of when you said uh, okay. do bricks. Uh, All right. Well, yeah. well I, it, it wasn't. I've put on the first song a bit later on in the show. Uh, what I thought was the, the, the first song that I thought of. Ah. It was the, 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 the best one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. But leave this town by Thin Lizzy. Uh, it's it's quite a nice one. And already, already, I just opened a beer and had a sip, and I need a piss. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is line the two songs up, leave you with the first one because I know this song very well, and it's the, actually the second one that I don't know. Ah, okay, so we can sit and chat. Well, I do. You. Uh, but saying that, I'm talking bollocks. Actually, right there, I do know it. But I don't listen to that one as well. It's one of those songs that you sort of skip by. Oh, okay, one of yeah. those, yeah. Yeah, because it's one of my. It is my favorite band. But but I skip by that song but, because you know there's all the others. Yeah, that's better. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just one of the filler songs on the album. But I, I hate to say all this shit, but I, I'm 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 saying it because I need a piss. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is Thin Lizzy and uh, Leave This Town. Leave this to me, Saab. I know how to handle these damn natives. I better keep myself a be a bus I better keep myself out of jail. Cause I ain't got a friend that can't be trusted. That's why my mama says my money through the mail. So now we got a chance. Dave yeah, is out yeah. of the room. <laughs> so wh- why do you think Dave hates us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we gotta be we gotta be civil about it. We can't back talk him, you know, like backstab him or yes, that. We, we can, we, yeah. we can yeah. but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I, I just checked. He he really did go away. Okay, no, okay. No, okay. We, we, okay. Then we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big Thin Lizzy fan? Or? Sort of my uh, part of my growing up, I think. Um, you know, the town I grew up in, Kalambor, they don't have much to pride themselves in, the sort of, besides having a big farmer and an uh, oil refinery. and uh, uh, But one of the things they do pride themselves in is that Thin Lizzy played uh, at a youth club there very early in their career, and they they always mentioned that when I grew up. So they don't thin, let you forget it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thin Lizzy was like, uh, oh, the, the, this is like the band to listen to. So uh, sort of prescribed thing to do uh, when getting into that. So you're a fan? No. Really? Dear grassy little wanker! Listening to this, this is kind of okay, but on, on a general basis, I, I don't rave him that much, to be honest. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not hating him, but like, it just really didn't do it for me. Yeah, so it's just it's not heavy enough for. I don't know, just. Kind because of they, they have, sort of do have their own sound. Yeah, but there's a lot of bands. Like you said, also earlier Ramones and like yeah. everybody's raving about Ramones. Like, why they're boring? Rubbish. <laughs> and same with Thin Lizzy. Like, why they're boring? And like some couple of good songs now and then. Yeah, fair enough, but boring. Fuck off. <laughs> and yes, Dave just walked into the room and gave me the evil eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he does that. Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. I heard someone saying Thin Lizzy were boring. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So, what what do you uh, what do you think of them? I love Thin Lizzy. So we we like we have three different ways. I mean. I, I I you don't mind them. I hate them, and you love I, them. I'm like <laughs> culturally into them because they're like a, a big thing where I come from. Uh, Bob 
doesn't like and, and that, that, you, that's you, wrong. That's wrong. I, I, I do, you do like some of the songs, but I'm not a huge fan. Rubbish. I'm not like everybody's like. I think this thing is like okay, nothing major about. It. It's just an average rock band. Yeah. The, okay. I'll 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 buy that. They're not mm-hmm. metal as such. No, 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 no. That's what except for the uh, Thunder and Lightning album. Yeah, that's not even metal. That's just a bit hard rock. <laughs> Ooh, he's so cynical, isn't oh, yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm always going against the grain, you know. When everybody's raving about a band, I normally go the other way because yeah. just like Theresa May and Brexit and all that. Yeah, the grain. The way, yeah. Never yeah. listen to them. Yeah. Well, this right now is obviously Black Sabbath from the Heaven and Hell album and Walk Away. And this is one of the songs, as much as I love Black Sabbath, I, I scroll past it. Yeah, it's not. It's not one of those songs you say. Yeah, this is brilliant. You know, it's just yeah. like it's an okay song, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's sort of my. Um, I never uh, sort of got into Black Sabbath uh, during the Aussie years. My intro was uh, Mob Rules and Heaven and Hell. Okay. Then I went back and uh, sort of rediscovered the whole thing so I, I, I was like um, oh the guy from Rainbow joined another band and uh, I, I'm in <laughs> yeah. yeah gotcha gotcha yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean I, I can remember the old days I didn't know about Iron Man and, and stuff like that but I wasn't really aware of them until I by chance bought the Sabotage and like that blew me away and still that's the best album they've ever done Fuck the rest. That one, killer. What? Well, I, uh, I thought Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath was a pinnacle. Yeah, but I, mean, I didn't did listen to that. It was pinnacle for my uh, musical uh, I did, crystallization. I didn't listen to that until years later, but Sabotage, oh, that's a killer. It's one of the best albums I've ever made. Okay, that's, that's fun because I re- remember that one briefly showed up in the charts here in Denmark and then... I remember listening to uh, Am I Going Insane, but it didn't sort of connect the, the dots until later. But as I said uh, off mic, I could have done uh, Falling Off the Ed- Edge of the World. That would be... Yeah, uh, that would also <laughs> have been uh, Brexit-worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for the flat earthers out there. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Humans, they're weird. Some of my best friends are humans. Some of my best friends are trans of bandits. Oh, that's a gig we should go to. We've talked about this before. Um, the humans? Dead, dead ritual. Deadland ritual. Deadland I got, ritual. I got, t- uh, I got tickets. Right. Uh, Triller wants to go as well. Ah, yeah. So, when uh, is that? It's MRPO. I don't know. I have um, yeah, it's a yeah, in a couple of months. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I haven't got anything else planned, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, I think that's Geezer Butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. and that's I, right. I, heard, I heard the uh, the first song they put out. And it's brilliant. Yeah, it's excellent. It's excellent. Yeah, it's brilliant, Bob. Do not do that hand wave. <laughs> I say nothing. I'm gay. <laughs> I'll still go. <laughs> okay. Good man. Good man. From that one song I heard, I I thought it sounded like. Uh, a, bit, a bit Queens of the Stone Age and a bit darker. Yeah, that's, than that, that's so. why Bob hates it. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, this is why we want you to leave the European Union, Bob. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not us who's leaving. It's no, you. no, it's you. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly leave. <laughs> I'm so against it, so I'll gladly leave. Oh, you do. Yeah, All righty, yeah, yeah. so that was Black Sabbath, and before that, Thin Lizzy. 
And uh, yeah, you're listening to Metal Breakfast Radio and the Brexit. Um, well, I don't, I don't want to say Brexit special <laughs> because nothing special about yeah, it. There's fuck all special about it. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean they, they're doing it in all flavors now. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. The hard Brexit, the light yeah. Brexit, yeah. the it's the Brexit shambles yeah. version. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is just the uh, um, Brexit cock up version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all righty. Now then. Up next is a band we've actually played on the show before, just mm. to, uh, on the first half, I mean. Ah, yes. This is uh, Venom again. You can't go wrong with that. No. Well, no, but you can. You can, this okay. version. Okay. You may n- have never have heard of this. Uh, it's from a 12-inch B-side. It's a song, F-O-A-D, which obviously stands for Fuck Off and Die. <laughs> um, yeah. And it, it's sort of one of their silly extra bonus tracks they put on. But it's worth a listen. It's Venom. Okay. Mm. It's Venom, yeah, of course. Uh, and it's from, from the... Uh, p- uh, p- uh, it's from their period of um, the, the release Possessed, the album. So it's sort of from around that time. And it will be followed by, I'll, I'll explain this now, the band Broken Bones and the song F-O-A-D. Yeah. Ah, I so see what you fuck did off there. and die twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> That's a ram it in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes, so uh, that, that that's what's coming up on these uh, this next selection. So Venom and Broken Bones, both of them, fuck off and die. Quite like that. Now then, where's my beer? You can stuff it up your ass for nothing and fuck off while you're doing it. How many beers have you had? Nipples. <laughs> uh, I, I get what you mean. <laughs> I vaguely remember that song, but uh, it's so way back in my mind because it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> You, you can't go wrong with Venom. Oh, yeah, you can. If you could hear Kronos, you were saying that was silly, that was daft. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Brexit. That was, that was Saturday night in the studio, yeah. really pissed. Yeah, but Brexit. <laughs> yeah. Silly, daft. Uh, yeah, daft, yeah. yeah. Fits perfectly. I put a bit of myself. You bastards. Well, no one ever said Venom did anything with any kind of taste. Nope. They refuse no. to. Yeah. I know why I blocked this song off of my mind because it's awful. Yeah, and then some. Yeah. <laughs> this is much better. I 
say that the intro to this song, it does go on a bit. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves. I have to lean back because my back is killing me. Yeah, no worries, no worries. By you can not leaning back in this very comfortable chair. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to do that. Oh, okay. What he's saying is... Then I'll fall asleep. <laughs> Actually, he, he's just going to take another leak. <laughs> So why do you think Dave hates us? That's a lot of reasons. I don't hate you. <laughs> uh, well, how, how long time? How, how much time you got? I can <laughs> just. <laughs> I don't hate you. <laughs> Even though we killed your phone. Oh well, uh, when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> God, okay, I was just about getting a bit worried there. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, that's what you think. The iPhone killing herd around the world. <laughs> Fuck off and die! Don't quit! <laughs> Oh yes, this is much better. Than what? Than uh, the Venom one. Oh, <laughs> it, did, well, yeah. it doesn't take much to get better than Venom, <laughs> Venom, but this is way ahead. Uh, this is this is quality stuff. But in in the the, the grand scheme of things. The guy who played the guitar in Exodus, who's still in Exodus, wore a Broken Bones t-shirt on the album cover from this album. Oh. So he sort of kind of connected a little bit. And then Exodus went on to support Venom. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm making really vague connections here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. shagging everybody, yeah. I think no, that's, g- that's <laughs> only in Denmark. That, that's you and Carsten, mate. Uh, not again. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> that's, that was last year. That's you, you and Kermit the Frog on your T-shirt. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Alrighty, broken bones there and fuck off and die, or yeah. rather F O A D from their bridge. album F O A D because they were too scared to actually use the word fuck on their album cover. Yeah. That's a good choice because they'd probably been banned. Well, probably, but they, then they would have loved it. Oh yeah, yeah, but then you didn't sell the records, so you can't make any money. So yeah. Oh well, for goodness sake. Yeah, let's work the world. Well, we say the word fuck and cunt and arse and tits and shit piss motherfucker cocksucker Yeah, but bollocks. this is 2019. This yeah, well, we say on our radio <laughs> show, uh, which is going out all over the internet. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's right. I should pardon my French. <laughs> oh, don't say anything bad about the French, because this is a Brexit show. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> yeah. 
I yeah. can't say anything about the f- Danish and the French and the German and the Italian. Oh, you can say whatever the fuck you want about the Germans. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else does. <laughs> All righty. We've got uh, four songs left to go. And that sounds weird saying that. But uh, we're doing like uh, two and two. Two and two, yeah. So up next is actually, you know what? I really shouldn't introduce this band. Because this band, it's a choice of mine. This band, they are really strict about playing their music on shows so mm. so they don't get their royalties and shit like that. Ah, okay. But we get around that because of the rules of the DMLVCXYQ, LBTQ, whatever the hell it is, the, the rules in America. Um, we get around it on that um, because we're only playing them once. Um, and uh, it's 2 minutes and 50 seconds. The song is called Gonna Leave You. So it's obviously very Brexit related. Yeah. And hopefully either we're going to or we're not. It's, it's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Theresa May or May we're not. not. Yeah. Yeah. Sh- Schrodinger's exit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what we got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's exactly what we have right now. Um, the uh, release, I can tell you that the release, it's Songs for the Deaf. Ooh. So you know who it is now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I you, don't. Ha- you hate them. Yeah, but uh, uh, we, we talked about them yeah, on the yeah, show yeah, just uh, a little while ago, yeah, uh, and you don't like them. No, I so, never uh, like them. Right. But just like, okay, I know that title. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. I now know what it is. Yeah. Let me give you a clue. Uh. Kings of the Bronze Age. <laughs> <laughs> now you know who it is. Yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Okie dokie. So here's Kings of the Bronze Age and Gonna Leave You. Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Britain never, never, never shall be slaves. Wait by the phone. I can't because I don't have one. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. Kill us of the iPhone 8. Everything scars the skin. Push it in. Break it off. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. There's blood in my spoon is a heroin reference. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Just so the, what's it called? The Dirt, the Motty Crew uh, yeah. movie last yeah. night. Yeah. Uh, I've still yet to see that. Oh, you, you should. It's, uh, it's lots of fun. Well, it's not really family viewing. The first five minutes of it, you've got this woman squirting after having an orgasm. Oh yeah, yeah. That does. Uh, that's yeah. loads of stuff like yeah, that. Well, we started uh, to watch it round the dinner table, and nah! well, that was kind of like, where the fuck's the remote? <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's uh, it's so much fun. And obviously, my fifteen-year-old son was like, "No, no, no, leave it on." <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you a beer. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, son. <laughs> I, mean, I was I was never a Motley Crue fan, but uh, I same saw, here, same here. saw them the opening fan. for Maiden, but uh, I was not. Not that much into them. I don't know you guys <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, this sort of puts things into perspective for me. Uh, uh, just for me uh, as well, yeah, you yeah. pair of <laughs> I think I've seen him live twice or something like that, but uh, nah, didn't really make an impact on me. 
I saw him on the girls, girls, girls tour. Because uh, yeah. uh, I missed all the others, sadly. Yeah. And they were great. It was a great stage show. I, I wasn't into the girls, girls, girls album, except the title track. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, this is Chariot. This is the one I thought was yeah, yeah, made yeah, earlier yeah. on. With the, uh, yeah. It wasn't sustained, but uh, Jared, yeah. So this is my choice, not. <laughs> yes, and uh, the song's called L- Love Me and Love Me or Leave, leave me. me. Yeah. Sorry, Love or Leave Me. Gotta get it right. Just like Three to Me. Or exactly, me, no. <laughs> she's gonna try and get it right, which is why she had about six attempts to push it through Parliament. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, when you go to the movies and you're thinking about going to a restaurant afterwards? Yes. You're just standing outside and saying, oh, we should, should we do this now? No, and then nobody really cares. And then somebody knows a good Indian place, but it's not sure where it is. And that's like Brexit. It's like yes. Uh, e- yes. Every, everybody's just, uh, no, 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 I'm... I don't want that, but I'm not sure what I want. But uh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because they've stuffed themselves on candy while they were in the cinema. <laughs> they've had all the sweet stuff, and they walk outside like, well, we need to go, but we don't know where. <laughs> no, I don't want that. No, hmm. it's not quite what I'm looking for. But that place, no. Yeah, you both of you, you nailed it. You know, that that is the way yeah. it is. Yeah. I actually think that, I mean, right now we've got Chariot, the last two on the show, who need zero introduction ah. for either song, and I'm not going to introduce them, they have already nailed it. Okay. And neither of the choices are mine, by the way. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to say <laughs> nice. they're yours. Okay, cool. I don't know if you chose one each. But I have no idea what you put on, so hey, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll see when we get to it. Chariot, Love or Leave Me, from their album The Warrior. The yeah. Warrior. Yeah. Very good album. Yeah, yeah but, by the way, yeah, yeah. Mm. Actually, a good song, yeah. Mm. We yeah. talked over yeah. a lot of it, but... It, oh, it's most good. of it, in fact, yeah. I can see by here. We, I think we spoke over all of it, except the last 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Uh, it's all you need. This, good. this yeah. is the thing about the show. If you hear a song in the background while we're talking over it that you enjoy, go out and listen to it. Go out and buy the album. Support the artist. Yeah. That's the whole point of Metal Breakfast Radio. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Right, we're here to entertain you. Uh, meet the gang cause the boys are here the boys to entertain you yeah. we're here to entertain you we're, we're here to make fun and take the piss over music yeah and promote some new bands now and then as well yeah exactly and now and then we do and, uh, but not for the last couple of I was going to say weeks, but I think we should use the word months. <laughs> yes, but then, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Long time, but yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll get there. Yeah, we'll we'll get we're, this we're coming. The, the next few shows, maybe not next week's, but, or, or whenever the next one comes out, uh, but the one after, there's going to be a fuck ton of new stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, we're on the last two songs of this show, this Brexit cock up special. Before we get into it, guys, your opinions on Brexit. Bob, you start. Yeah, I, I, I really applauded Britain when they said they're going to leave. I was like, yes. In, at last, somebody says, fuck you to Europe. Because I hate this union thing. You know, I really hate it because the idea in the beginning was good enough. Like, let's make something equal to everybody. But it's not equal. So right. it's all, all bullshit. Okay. So, uh, all right. I, I won't get into why. No, no. But the like, whys and wherefores. But the, no, I, I just want to hear this basic sort of yeah, yeah, but like, pro I, con. I, I'm really that cool that they hopefully they leave Britain leaves because they're the first ones, and then 
somebody else might follow. Okay. All right. All right. Kent, what do you think? Yeah, I'm um, not unlike Bob. Uh, I would say I've been a EU skeptic, as Danes are. I mean, we're okay. known for the, you know, saying no to the Maastricht Treaty in ninety uh, two and mm. uh, uh, always being a bit some sort of standoffish with the EU. Uh, we, we're skeptic about... I, I mean, I, personally, I'm uh, very much for free trade because I think that works for us. Mm. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you could just see all the problems that's already uh, uh, coming around for Britain now, getting things in and out of, of the borders and, and things like that. Mm. But the idea of a political union, uh, no, I don't like that. Okay. Uh, so I I like I like uh, that they did the Brexit, and then they sort of really screwed it up. Oh yeah, I've yeah. got to talk hours yeah. about what pros and cons about it, yeah. but I'm not going to do that because no, no, it's not but, that kind of show. But my version is I really could not give a flying fuck about the entire <laughs> fucking process, <laughs> except how it affects me yeah. living in Denmark. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, that's it. I mean, as a Satanist, that's all I would look at. How the fuck does this affect me? Yeah. And business-wise, and uh, things that I buy, things that I do, travel, maybe travel would affect me. Mm. But my it, my most important thing, living in Denmark, that's what I'm looking at. And if they say, yes, Brexit is going to happen, blah, 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 then I'm going for Danish citizenship. Yeah, of course, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. just sort of go like, lots of fingers to uh, England and have enough because the only reason I would keep my English passport is for my son no yeah yeah so yeah, he, he yeah. can have an English passport but everybody's wants, afraid like what is going to happen to me and like yeah. once that happens I can't like, it's not that you, they're not, they're not going to throw you out just because you, you Britain might leave uh, they're not going to throw you out just like, from day one to day two like okay oh, no, off no, you go they'll, they'll, they'll give me at least six weeks yeah and then yeah. you can sort things uh, out. And, and th- yeah, What's the it, problem? Yeah. yeah, yeah, six weeks, mate. No, just, it, it's politics. There will be is. some idiotic rule yeah. that will uh, somehow say that uh, if if uh, Britain leaves, then you're so you're equated with someone just moving in from somewhere else. Yeah. yeah, even though you've been here for for, for twenty one years. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, so uh, I mean, that's that's politics. You you just have to watch out. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. Now, um, just before we continue with this political bollocks, um, one, I need a piss. Two, I'm putting the songs on. So shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop. Um, so we've got two two bands left on the show who need no introduction. Either of them, they need fuck all introducing. So I'm just going to put both of them on. Okay. And I think the actual last one, uh, the final song, is um, very apt with uh, the whole Brexit thing, with how England thinks it's doing, and they're wrong. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, here's the last two songs, and then, yeah, uh, the reason I'm rushing because yeah, 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 yeah. off you go, off you go. (laughs) Oh me, the gang, cause the boys are here. Boys to entertain you. Meet the gang, cause the boys are here. The boys to entertain you. Shut up! Some of our younger listeners probably will not know who the hell this is. This is Motorhead from their very first album, On Parole. Yeah, songs, because... <laughs> song's called Leaving Here. Yeah, yeah, because uh, there's only Lemmy uh, sort of from, uh, you know, 
he's the only one who that survived that lineup. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was that like Wallace and? Um, yeah, Wallace was one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When listen to this, it's like Mozart. No way, but also knows it. Yeah, yeah, but they, they did re-record it for another album, didn't they? Well, this is a, a reissue of the, uh, uh, the same album. Yeah, but it's a reissue, but the re-recording we are talking. I don't know about the re-recording. Yeah, I think no. they, they did a re-recording of it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, they did did it again with uh, Fast Eddie, I think. Well, there's one I need to hunt. I don't think I have it. No, because, yeah, I, th- I think I heard it uh, differently, yeah. And I should know that I'm 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 the one that sent that through. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Except killing my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Well. You had to mention the one. <laughs> every, every once in a while, the supervillain gets it right. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> No, Mr. Bond, I expect your phone to die. (laughs) Don't quit. And he never did. Theresa May wishes she was in Judas Priest. Oh, yes. With yeah, 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 yeah. Although I really don't want to see her in all the leather shit. <laughs> uh, but could be but fun now all yeah. I can think of is Theresa May in all that leather shit. Oh. Actually, uh, given the, the new laws they've just passed on uh, porn and all that thing. Oh, we'll never see any of that in England, right? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, well, that's sort of... Okay, that's that's good, but it's still bad. Uh, oh yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this 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 was a suggestion from uh, my coworker Christian, uh, who's a friend of the show. He's uh, suggested things before, and uh, he had other things like Deceiver, and uh, okay. <laughs> he he's not a uh, he's not a pro Brexit. Let's just say that. I probably get a lot of listeners on my neck, but this is horrible. Delete that comment. <laughs> uh, it's very unlike Judas Priest, I guess. This, uh, no, 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 it's not because they had the United things yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's horrible as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as the show winds down, we see Dave carrying off Bob <laughs> into the sun. <laughs> And throwing him into a fucking volcano. Right here, we're at the end of the show right there, Mr. Thunder. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but it's horrible. (laughs) It's so bloody boring. Cobblers.
<laughs> it's all about Brexit. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, before that, that, I tolerated it, but yeah. the song itself, pah, what a shamble. Bloody rubbish! I still remember you headbanging to it at the gig. You big bag of brisket. That's different. Yeah. It sounded better than <laughs> this. <laughs> Well, uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Boris Johnson would say that. Oh no, no that was different. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See Brexit reference all the bloody time. All righty. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's show. This um, sort of piss take of Brexit. It's not really been that political. No, no. no. Even though we did get a bit charged a bit uh, uh, <laughs> later yeah, in the yeah, show, yeah, 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 we had yeah. to do it. You know, yeah. we had oh, to. Of course, we had to. Like, yeah. Have a little. Rant about th- shit and uh, we didn't overdo it, so no, no, not really. And yeah, uh, you know, I think the the most important thing about Metal Breakfast Radio right now is, I mean, excuse me, besides having fun, is the fact that Kent killed my fucking phone, <laughs> <laughs> which is the last time I will ever mention it on the show. Okay, <laughs> you all heard it. So if he does it again, he's owes us a lot of beer. Yes, yes. <laughs> And uh, so we're at the end of the show. Hope you've enjoyed this Brexit special. And it's not really a, well, special. It was, well, actually, it was pretty fucking special. Yeah. <laughs> and all we could do is leave. <laughs> or stay. Or stay. Com- you know, yeah, yeah. What you, it yeah, depends on the <laughs> British government. Should we stay or should we go? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and as we, we leave the, the, the show tonight, uh, I'd like to play us out with... Just one, one more song. So. Ah, oh yes, good, good oh. choice. Good choice. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It is time to say, If you leave me now, <laughs> you take, take away the, the biggest, biggest part of me. Ooh, Ooh England, England, please <laughs> fuck oh, off. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're saying goodbye now from Metal Breakfast Radio for this week. This will be the outro music. Yeah, that, that's good because <laughs> Brilliant. When, when we had this task of choosing a song for this, like, it was the first one that came into my mind. Like, yeah, yeah. But then, no, it's not metal. You know it's not metal. You Mine as well. It's what we talked about. We're walking down the street. We're like, oh, we should use that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like so much not metal. Yeah, exactly. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to be the outro. So. Yeah, but it's a good, good choice. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, anyway, folks, thanks for listening in. We, we hope you're... Whether you are a, a, a Remainer or a Lever, we don't give a shit. As this is Metal come Breakfast back, Radio. Yeah, as long as you come back and listen to us, then we yeah, don't care. Yeah, yeah. Just, just <laughs> remain with us, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. And we'll catch you on the next show. Until then, chin chin. Toodle pip. Chitty bye. Wizard prank. Bash on. And, and a bucket of... of- oh. I think I better get my coat and leave. Yeah, I'll just say um, ever forward. And also, hail Satan. Isn't this music great? It's great. I love it. This is <laughs> fucking awesome. Right? But we have to go. But we'll leave the music playing for you boys and girls. Or whatever gender you consider yeah. yourselves. Yeah. It's nice and mellow. We're like nice exit thing yeah a, a Brexit thing. a Brexit ah yeah. but it's good How could we let it slip away? because you're idiots that's why <laughs> we've come too far to leave it all behind How could
Oh, fuck off. Everybody gone.